If there's a woman who knows a thing or two about makeup, it's international makeup artist Ray Morris. L'Oreal Paris director Ray has been awarded the prestigious title of Australian Makeup Artist of the Year four times. She's released two best-selling makeup books and just in case you thought she was being lazy she's about to release her own range of makeup brushes ladies and gentlemen it's time to brush up on our makeup skills let's have a chat with Ray so Ray for the everyday woman who doesn't have a lot of time or skill what is the best tip you can give them for looking fabulous I'm glad you asked me that question my express makeup book actually (laughs) Um, that's one thing okay some great tips first of all my book is about doing makeup fast that's the one thing and making things easy but things I can just give you off the top of my head okay if you want to do an eyeliner and you feel that you're very clumsy use a little piece of sticky tape not too sticky right. make sure wipe all the skin off a little bit of sticky tape imagine a line corner of the nose to the eye put a bit of tape there do a little bit of an eye line pull the tape off best eyeliner you pulls the eyes up ever seen in your life um, things like you know um, matching foundation to your body color it's very important um, things like using bronzer or dark foundation under your cheeks to create a beautiful chisel mm-hmm. um, keeping your brows you know really brushed up and thick is a great idea one great thing to open your eyes get a creamy milky eye pencil on the inner rim will make your eyes a lot bigger and sometimes a bit of gold eyeshadow on your lip and on the inner corners of your eyes will open and brighten and make your lips look bigger so superstars supermodels super singers you've done pretty much everyone's face who has been your favorite to work with pink I would definitely say absolutely my favorite because um, one she's had some of the world's best makeup artists do her so there was a natural bit of nervousness when I was with her but I did her face and she loved it and she just threw the trust to me I love that um, Cindy Lauper was the most interesting um, she did make me cry <laughs> because <laughs> she's hard but you know as in she's she knows what she wants and she she taught me a lot it was one of the best experiences I've ever had what is the worst thing a woman can do because let's be honest there's some pretty bad makeup out yeah. there on the street so what is the number one thing you should not do with your makeup okay if you own white frosty eyeshadow and you're using it under your eyebrows I'd like you at this moment to bin it um, yeah Kath and Kim you know do use that for inspiration think very it's very playboy FHME um it's just a little bit, yeah, a little bit too full on. Um, too much of anything. If you think you're wearing too much makeup, you are. And another big no-no for us pale skin girls, put the bronzer down. Putting bronzer on my skin tone will not make me look more tanned. It will make me look like I have crispy skin tones. Okay, so if you've got olive skin, you wear the bronzer. Yes. If you've got fair skin, what do you do? Rosy, just beautiful, soft, rosy colour. Right. Just, just give yourself that healthy roses. Pale skins, when they look healthy, they don't look like they've got orange on their cheeks. They have that little bit of that little bit of roses. Think Anne Hathaway, that beautiful hint of you know sheen coming through the skin. Now, being one of the world's best makeup artists, you would have an amazing range of tools to play with. But you're about to release yes. a range of brushes. So, so tell me, what makes these br- brushes okay. so fabulous? I can honestly tell you, there is nothing like them in the world. I honestly believe, and I, it's taken me a year of just angling one bristle to get these right. And I'll just give you a quick example. The reason women struggle with brushes, because most brushes have this very, very oval square shape, and they're heavy. Right. So when you go on the eye, the skin moves, and plus you get hard edges. And 99% of eye brushes are shaped like that. Mine, all my eye brushes are pointed but they're extremely pointed okay there's a lot of brushes like this but they don't have the point the reason they have that point is even with my left hand I'm right handed left hand it will naturally go onto the socket plus they are made out of the silkiest hair Peter approved by the way um, on the eye so that means it automatically blends for you there's absolutely no excuse to be stuck in a makeup rut when you have the tips and tricks at your fingertips from a pro like Ray Morris. You can catch all of Ray's latest makeup looks at the Melbourne Fashion Festival, pick up one of her makeup books, or maybe grab one of her new brushes. I'm Christina Bertels for Unseen TV.